Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be mid-April messages for the sign of Sagittarius. What is going on, Sagittarius? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. All right, guys, let's just get straight into it, okay? That's your main spread there. Shuffled off camera to save time. I will shuffle now for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the table, that is when the reading begins. There will be a timestamp in the description box below if you want to jump ahead. I totally don't blame you, and I have no way of knowing, so there's no chance of you offending me or it's coming off as rude, so <laughs> go for it, go for it. Um, also down there is the information you need if you want to get a personal reading with me. It's very easy. Um, and if you have been thinking about getting a personal reading with me but you haven't done so yet, uh, I would suggest going ahead and doing that sooner rather than later because come June, the price for what I offer down there is going to go up as well as I'm going to introduce two different types of readings uh, to the channel as well. But for what I offer now, which is like the big reading, 45 minutes, clarifiers, oracle cards, all that good stuff for $25, that's a very good price if I do say so myself. So if you are looking to be thrifty or you're looking to kind of finally get answers to some questions that maybe don't get answered in the general, feel free to book something with me, okay? It's not a problem. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get you an outcome for this mid-April period, shall we? Outcome for Sagittarius in mid-April, please. Outcome for Sagittarius in mid-April, please. Wow, very quick. Ooh, bottom of the deck is the overall. Now, it's kind of on its side a little bit. So we have to evaluate. Which way for Sagittarius, please? Please show me. Okay, like that. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so let's get into this. Nothing came face down, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe uh, things are coming to the forefront for you or things are out in the open for you, I don't know. But uh, let's get into it. Let's see, where is Sagittarius's prominent energy? Please show me Sagittarius's prominent energy in mid-April, please. Please show me. Thank you. Right here. Well, all right, Sag, you come in to this mid-April period, very late mid-April, by the way. I apologize for this coming out so late, but I'm a regular human being with a regular job and all that good stuff. Uh, Page of Wands. All right, so kind of coming in in your own energy, in your own suit at least, Page of Wands, Fire Sign Energy. Uh, so this could be you or it could be a fellow Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius. Um, but there's like a, wow, like it's kind of, it's, it's kind of, striking me as cute but also kind of annoying or hmm, like cutely immature or 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 naively immature something like that where if this is you Sagittarius we're talking about making moves we're we're, we're pressing forward with things we're interested in new things you know the the thing about the pages is that they're young energy not necessarily and it could be a child for some of you but i'm just speaking more to the energy that this card embodies which is being sort of invigorated and and having like a childlike spirit about something that is new and exciting and interesting you know going on a trip going on a journey uh, getting into a new hobby, meeting new people, and there's an eagerness to this energy, but sometimes that can be a little naive or short-sighted or impulsive. So those are, there's like clearly coming in with this card, I feel like it's two things. It's positive and not so positive. So you might find yourself in a new job, in a new social situation, in a new relationship, something that is new, that has stirred up your fancy, that has stirred up your energy, that has stirred up your interest. And I feel that you're moving towards it. Um, you're not moving super slowly um, because the Page of Wands would be the second fastest page uh, right behind the Knight, or excuse me, the Page of Swords. So there's a steady pace to your movement, but I feel... This, this this idea of movement. Ah, okay. Like, I think you want to move faster, or I think you want to go forward with something, but there's, there's an issue, an energy, or something around you, or someone around you who's kind of, like, pulling back on your leash. Wow, okay, on your leash, okay. Nah, I don't really know what that means, but maybe you do. 
but there's this idea or feeling that I'm getting is you're very interested in something that's new and exciting or, you know, just intriguing to you. Hobby, new job, uh, new social interactions with new friends, new people that you're dating, whatever it is. And like you've gotten a sample <laughs> is kind of what they're telling me. Like you've gotten a taste, but then you're, you're yanked back on your leash. Something is holding you back. Could be something within yourself, but I feel for many of you, it's like this, in, excuse me, this external uh, influence or force that has prevented you from going forward with this new endeavor, with this new hobby or whatever. One second, I forgot to turn the music down. I was like, uh, one second. Okay. I was like, that got really loud for some reason. Totally forgot to turn it down. Anyway, um, so you've, like, they're showing me, like, cattle, like, organ trail kind of like leading a wagon like the yoke oxen that lead the organ trail like that that move the wagons forward like that's what they're showing me and you know this oxen not like I'm a farmer or anything so I don't even know but like the impression I get is that the oxen is very young it's very strong has a lot of fortitude and is and is and is doing this heavy work or or is 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 a beast of burden right so the oxen is, you know, ja like jazz to be walking down this road and making progress, doing what the oxen in some way is, is designed to do. This is very strange. I, I, and I hope I can clean this up because I'm like, what the hell does ho oxen have to do with this? Anyway, uh, and so the oxen is moving and then whoever is driving the wagon pulls back on the reins heavy and stops the oxen in its tracks. Okay. So maybe that's more to the point that you feel you were stopped or have been stopped or are being stopped. I don't know temporally when this is happening for you. Could have happened previous, could be happening right now, could be upcoming for some of you. I don't know. But I, so I think maybe that's what they're trying to show me is like you're being stopped dead in your tracks as you were making progress, as you were moving towards something, as, as, as you intend to move towards something. And you're, you know, the willpower and, and the fortitude and the strength of an ox is very strong. So there's a lot of passion behind what you're wanting to move towards or who you're wanting to move towards or what you're moving towards. You know what I mean? And, but something or someone has you yoked, has, has, has restraints on you. Could just be circumstantial also. It doesn't have to like... When I say external influences, it's a word that I use or a phrase that I use um, on my channel a lot. It doesn't have to be a singular energy or a singular person. It could be a group of people, could be circumstances, could just be poor timing. You know what I mean? It could be, it can, it can show up in your life in different ways. So for some of you, it's someone, it's a person's like direct interference. In other cases, it's a matter of the timing isn't right. Maybe you want to go on vacation um, to somewhere exotic in the world and you've never been there before and you've got your plane ticket and you've got your bathing suit all planned out and all this other kind of stuff. And then boom, it's like typhoon season or hurricane season, or like there's a huge, you know, mudslide, you know, something tragic, unfortunately for those who are experiencing it, but something like that, like curve balls, you pulls back on the reins and stops you dead in your tracks. So now you have to, you know, get a refund for the hotel and all this, you know, so it's just this idea of you want progress with that page of uh, wands and you've been seeking progress. You've been making essentially baby steps towards something. And either you have been, you will be, or you weren't. Like I, the temp when this happens, I'm not sure, but you'll recognize it. You'll know it. If, the, if this resonates for you, you'll know exactly when and where this happened or when and where this will happen because you'll recognize it. But uh, for for all of you guys it's just like I feel a desire to move but an inability to move all right now what's what else is going yes okay hmm wow okay so for some of you you definitely want to move towards a person okay wow and they want me to say it's this this person here. Strength card, card of Leo. So it could be a Leo, you know, page of page of wands right there. There might be a shared 
fiery energy between you and another in uh, between you and a Leo Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. But if this is a person that you're drawn to, that you want to get to know, that you want to spend more time with, friend, you know, long lost family member, coworker, lover, I don't care who it is, they're balling in a way that that maybe intimidates you maybe you're pulling back on your own yoke maybe you're or, or you're pulling back on your own reins maybe you're stopping yourself because they're just like you know so fabulous <laughs> um but if I, but that's just like for a, a small portion of you i i don't view sagittarius i don't feel the grand majority of you look at this person and you're intimidated but you might look at this person and you're kind of like enamored and you're kind of in awe so maybe like you pause for a second but ultimately most Sagittarius's are not going to be overly intimidated by someone else now regardless of this person's zodiac sign sign regardless of how ballin they are or how fabulous they are there is it's just this magnetism about them because they represent or they're being represented here today by the strength card strength card shows that this person has a lot of wherewithal this person is very savvy this person is very intelligent like not book smart but like life you know street smarts you know what i mean they know a thing or two about a thing or two they're very clever they're very um They're just attractive and it doesn't even have to be physical attraction if this is a love situation it, it's just you feel drawn to them or other people like they're magnetizing they were magnetic you know and that's refreshing to some of you or or a good portion of you you haven't met someone like this and maybe that's it because i did say they're smart and i wasn't necessarily talking about intellectual intellectual uh, capacities. I was really just talking about you view them as smart. So and I'm, I'm getting that as like being an equal to you or being somebody that you can riff with, being somebody that you can converse with, somebody that you share interests with, somebody that you share a hobby or a passion with. Whatever has you motivated here, this person reflects that to you or embodies this in some type of way, has a handle on this, is experienced in this world, experienced in this knowledge, whatever we're talking about. Uh, and you could be meeting this person anywhere, work, you know, like I said, a long lost family member. Oh my God, we're like, two, you know, third cousins twice removed, something like that. And uh, there's still much you don't know about this person. Like they have a grand personality, very, not boisterous in the sense that they're loud, but very present very prominent but being that you're in this page page position this page energy Sagittarius this person also shares that so you guys don't know each other well and so the attraction to them the pull towards them and them towards you I think it's a mutual thing is wonderful it's great but it's a little naive it's a little green it's a little wet behind the ears it has the potential to kind of overstep the boundaries you know what I mean not really have set limitations to it be indulgent be impulsive okay so there's some sweariness there You're like ah oh, I like you I like getting to know you but mm, maybe we should you know actually have a you know I think I think many of us have experienced this like you meet someone and it's like it feels like you've known them your whole life but then it's also like but I don't really know you like we've been talking friendship dating whatever co-worker I don't care what the circumstances are but you talk to them regularly and you're like oh my god I love that show and oh my god did you read this book and oh yeah I traveled here oh my god I want to travel there but and you just keep going on and on and on for hours and hours or every day consistently you talk about your interests but then when you really think about it do you know this person do they know you there's 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 that caveat here for for this connection okay so they're very amazing <laughs> they're very amazing that's that's ridiculous they are amazing very amazing oh my god that's something i would have said in like third grade anyway <laughs> but there's a caution here because with the strength card i feel that there's a, like something hidden like sure this character is you know seated on that lion looking very much in charge but it's also like is that a staged photo like there's something where from where you're standing or where other people might have a, a an opinion about this person can you believe who they are 
like there's like a mm, mm, not I don't want to call this person's character into question because I think for the most part they're genuine but there are certain things that you're just like I don't know if I believe that like this person may have said I've been on safari like five times in Africa and you look at them and you're like but you work at Kohl's he's like yeah I've been on safari five times you work at Kohl's how you know it's like something about some of the stories that they tell or some of the experiences that they say that they've had doesn't really add up to you or add up to someone in your circle and so there's like this again the pulling back of the reins it's like a, er, hang on let's fact check this you know so there's caution here the other part of the caution is that this person to some extent keeps themselves guarded you know this this woman is wearing sunglasses you know so and she, her face is turned a little bit away she's not looking dead down the center of the card she's like kind of her 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 gaze is uh, off to the side there so as much as i think this person is honest or they're being very forthright with you they're very much you know candid with you i think there's also still much you don't know about them and so and they have reason you know they have reason maybe they've been hurt maybe they've been scarred or burned not literally of course but figuratively and, you know, it might leave like a guard or two up, like one or two walls of theirs are up. Like, or, or, or you suddenly, while you're talking with them, encounter a wall and they don't want to talk about a certain subject or they sidestep a certain subject and you're just like, oh, I thought we were really vibing. I thought everything was just like flowing freely. And then all of a sudden, you know, the brakes get put on in a conversation. So, Sagittarius, I would, and if it's not an, Inter external person all that stuff that I just said is all about you that's all you so you can either put that on somebody else or you can take that into yourself but the message is the same there is just this alluring attraction to that energy whoever embodies that energy okay the other part here with this so that's okay thank you because I was like wait a minute the other part no 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 I, I so we have a division here sort of this is your trajectory up into that strength card from your page of wands energy the external things that are going on or i think what is being called upon or what how you're being called upon is with these two thank you no well between you and them there needs to be some type of balance some type of healing going on temperance card your own card sagittarius so you're here in the reading uh <laughs> interesting that's interesting um so there may like i said this pulling back on the reins i don't know when it happened or if it hasn't happened yet i don't know but whenever that happens i feel that it's gonna kind of shock you and or them it's gonna be like oh wait what happened here there's going to be sort of a diso not a disillusionment but a confusion confusion yeah and in order to get back to this copacetic let's build a friendship let's build a relationship let's build a rapport with one another let's continue to hang out let's continue to talk in order to get to that point or to you know release that pull back on the reins and, and allow the ox to move down its freaking path again we got to get balanced. We have to get healed with the temperance card. And the reason I chuckled is because, you know, the imagery of this card shows, you know, a bartender. So maybe you and this person, you know, reconnect over drinks. It's like, oh, you know, you know, you say to them or they say to you, whoever backed off of this thing. I feel for many of you Sagittarius's, you backed off and this person is just perched on that lion. Just like, oh, okay, I guess Sagittarius doesn't want to talk to me. No big deal. And they're just like living their life. So I feel like mostly it's you, Sagittarius, who backed off or was taken away, like stop dead in your tracks because of some other shit that you're dealing with. And so you might approach this person saying, hey, you know, I know we haven't talked for a week or two or I, I'm sorry, I haven't really been able to return your messages, blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, you're going into work and like you see this person, but you don't like actually converse with this person because... You know, you're busy with work and they're doing their thing. They're independent. They're not reliant on you or anybody else. This person is very independent. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, fiercely independent. They, they rely on no one. 
<laughs> um, and so there's this move towards, let me buy you a drink. Let's go have a chat. Let's, let me get you a coffee. Let's catch up, you know, something like that. Um, and I think if this is happening now or has already happened, this time apart has, has allowed you and them to have a lot of reflection, not just about what you guys have discussed or what you guys are planning or what you guys are getting into, how you're getting to, it's like, no, like reflection on your own respective lives. Like you go back and you realize, Hey, I'm in this page of wands energy. Is that what I want to be? Do I want to be a page of wands right now? You know, which is someone who's very eager and very adventurous, but still wet behind the ears and doesn't necessarily have the best game plan going forward. And you might say to yourself, for comparison's sake, maybe I want to be a knight of wands the next time I introduce myself to this person. Or maybe I want to be a king of, a king of pentacles, something like that. So you're evaluating your position in life. They're evaluating whatever the hell they're evaluating. The temperance... I feel is a bonding moment between the two of you, whether it's happened yet or not. And I think there will be a lot of laying the cards out on the table, no pun intended, but for you, for them in this hiatus that you've had, or in this little, you know, perhaps miscommunication or misunderstanding, maybe you had a fallout. I don't really know. I'm not really getting fallout per se, but I am getting there's been a pause or a hiccup here and we need to address the hiccup and we also need to address what happened in the interim during the hiccup. Like, oh, so, well, you know, so the reason I didn't get back to you is because, well, my phone was totally trashed. I was, I was getting out of an Uber and it fell into the sewer and then I lost my phone and then it was a whole thing because, you know, iPhones are so expensive. I'm not going to, you know, and it was under warranty and I had to talk to Apple, blah, 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 whatever, which sounds like a crazy, you know, sitcom plot device, but that stuff happens in, in people's real lives where they might say to you, oh yeah, that's okay. Because while that happened to you, I also experienced some shit on my end. And then they tell you their side and you guys are like, oh my God, that's so funny. We both had things kind of pull us away from each other or kind of come in and, and, and throw curveballs in our lives at the same time. So there's like this explanation and then a reunion or like a, you know, just catching up over drinks. Like I really feel it's easily solved or you guys easily get back to kind of cutting up and being friends or cutting up and flirting or cutting up and making plans to launch your own app, whatever the hell you're doing with this person. It's going to, you know, be different for everybody because it's a general reading, right? And I feel for you, Sagittarius... That temperance card is like right on time or you feel and this is gonna be like the second time I've used this word on my channel and I, I don't use this word in my personal life but some of you're gonna really feel blessed okay I don't use that word in my personal life I have issues with it <laughs> so but I use it for somebody out there someone out there is feeling blessed because this opportunity to meet up again or this opportunity to clear the air is really just the kickstart you need to get yourself motoring down that path again towards this person towards union towards partnership towards just you know just having an amazing understanding and connection with another person even if it's not you know I want to be best friends with you I want to marry you I want to be business it's, it doesn't have to be so grand it really can be oh my god I have this wonderful person that I work with and you don't hang outside out of, out of work like this could be like a lunchtime drink you know, that happens in some places, not where I work. And I, I wish it could happen where I work anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be like this person becomes like the center of your life or becomes like this huge addition to your life. They have a set place in your day between the hours of 830 and, 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 and four o'clock. I hang out with this person maybe two hours a day or I, you know, I see them on and off throughout the work day. And that's a beautiful relationship. It doesn't go outside of the work environment, but they're amazing. And you are happy to have them back in your life or to have made this connection and you're able to fortify it. You're able to establish it and, and, and help it grow. Okay. So you do all that now in order to now. Ooh, okay. Is that it? Yes. That's very powerful. What they just said. <laughs> so you get the full energy as your last card in this spread 
So the thing that they just said to me is that this person, Sagittarius, makes you feel brave, gives you the confidence and the courage to do things that you've never done before or say things or experience things that you've never done. And they are not like, they don't give you this fool energy. They don't just show up one day and say, hey, Sagittarius, I could see that you needed a little bit of the fool in your life. And they plop a package down on your desk and they say, have a good day. It's not like that. But being around them, talking with them, you know, airing out your ideas, you know, sharing, you know, anecdotal histories throughout your life, whatever way you're communicating and getting to know this person and getting along with this person, it opens you up and kind of broadens your horizons or, or broadens your vision, your the scope of your vision, okay? So for a while now, some of you have had blinders on or some of you have been so used to feeling like you were on the yoke, that you were withheld, that you had reins on you, that, you know, sometimes that happens with animals, right? Just to cut myself off there, but that happens, right? If you convince an animal that they're always on a leash, like this tugging back motion, eventually you don't have to have the leash on the animal or the yoke or whatever, the reins on the animal, and they're still under the mindset that I'm restricted. Being around this person opens up your eyes. Or if it isn't all to do with the person, it's about the circumstances in which you've met them, the circumstances or the 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 environment in which you both communicate or 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 when and why you communicate like you're just open and inspired and just feeling like free you feel so much freer when this person comes around or when you guys are talking when you guys are sharing ideas and it's just amazing to you with this fool card because the fool card is all about you know taking chances taking risks kind of walking out into the the unknown and having no trepidation, having no fear, having no anxiety, having no second thoughts, just really boldly moving forward, much like this woman hitchhiking out in the desert. Where's she going? She doesn't really know. She doesn't really care. You know, so it's this embracing of whatever comes next is going to be fab. It's just going to be fabulous for me. Or if it's not fabulous, I'm going to make it fabulous. So it's like this turning ever so slightly like this turnaround in your energy or this turnaround in your in your thoughts in in how you feel or how you how you view you know potentialities in your life which circles back into your page energy because the pages to me are always sort of kind of touching onto the full energy a little bit tapping into that full energy a little bit because they're very enthusiastic they're very imaginative they're very uh, expressive. They're very much into the, how do I feel about this? Does my heart align with this? If it does, cool. And I'm just going to go for it. You know, like they go for it, the pages. So that full energy coming back around to your page energy is amazing. Oh, pick this up again. Thank you. Um, so this is a secondary major arcana card for those who are wondering of, uh, Aquarius as it's ruled by Uranus. Okay. So an, an Aquarius might be important to you, or there might be something important about I would say Aquarius season, which was back in January, right? Late January into February. Maybe that's when you met this person. Maybe they have Aquarius in their chart. But there's something about Aquarian time is how they're making me feel about this time. And if it's not the Aquarius stuff, then it's something about Uranus. And I'm not up on the astrology this week. Astrology is hard to keep up with, by the way. Yeah, Kudos to anybody who's on top of that shit, because I'm just like, Jesus, this stuff changes too often. And it's too, it, it's a lot to remember for every different sign, like where this, where Uranus would be in a blank uh, or a, uh, a default <laughs> Sagittarius chart. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, if you know the transits, if you are following the astrology right now, and you know something about Uranus right now, good for you apply it if it works if it doesn't forget about it now your outcome for this mid-april period sagittarius you have the five of wands in reverse i'll show you this card upright 
And I actually need to look at it because I don't really use this deck that often. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like. So they have it in reverse. So I like that, obviously. Well, not obviously, because it's not always this way. But what I'm feeling is, of course, I shouldn't even say of course, because you don't feel what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is a decrease in tension, a, de a decrease in disagreements and arguments and and <laughs> and foul energy, like foul, <sighs> petty, squabbling energy. Now, this deck only depicts females, so there's a little bit of a, <laughs> a stereotype here where you we have all, have all these bridesmaids fighting over the uh, bride's bouquet. <sighs> so maybe that actually happened to some of you guys recently. Maybe you went to a wedding or you will be attending a wedding and there's a little bit of a disagreement between the bridesmaid and the maid of honor, or the bridesmaids and the maid of honor. And well, we said we were going to throw the bachelorette party, you know, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> As a woman, I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to kind of be grown the way women can be sometimes. It's just like, oh God, why are we fighting? It's her day. Why are we fighting? It's her day. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so there may be some of that going on for some of you where during a celebratory time, friends or family and whoever are kind of having internal squabbles and, 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 you know, like mini falling outs. And it's just like, ugh, every, you're over it. I feel this is more you. You might be standing a little bit to the sideline going, y'all are fucking crazy. We don't need to be doing all this. Let's just forget it and let's move on to the next thing. Like, I feel for you, Sagittarius, you more than anyone else, you're just like, I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm here to have a wonderful time. I don't want to be in any drama, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, so if it's now, let's expand that and move it away from celebrations. This would just be generally what you want in your life and what you're kind of projecting, you know, which is, <sighs> listen, I'm over the bullshit, really. I don't want to fight with anyone. I don't want to argue with anyone. I just want to be chill. Like this is, a, I just want to chill out energy. So you, Sagittarius, given what we've talked about previously, your interest is to relax. Whatever is not necessary, if it's not constructive to your life, if it's not positive in, in, your, in, your, in your life, you don't want it around you. A person, a situation, you know, whatever. It's got to go if it's not bringing in positive vibes. So that's good. And maybe for some of you, this is like the realization or sort of like the end of that being pulled on the rain uh, scenario where maybe other people have been telling you, oh, you spent too much time with that person or, you know, you know, that business idea between you and that person is never going to work. Excuse me. This is just like you making a point to step away from any haters. Like, oh, you don't support my idea? You don't support my relationship with this person? Or you think that they're a bad influence on me? Or whatever. Like, you challenge. At some point, you do challenge this person or these people. And you kind of, you know... If you don't challenge them, you do acknowledge what they're doing. Like, you're trying to manipulate me. You're trying to make it seem like I'm a bad person or that... Or this person with the strength card energy, they're a bad person. And it's just not true. So you're really calling people on their bullshit. They're, you're calling people on their drama. So it's like, you're just trying to start a fight in here. And I'm not about that. So no. And you walk away. I feel it's really kind of high road for you, Sagittarius, to walk away. Because I think whoever is pulling your reins or whoever is trying to interfere or throw in flack your way, they want you to engage in a fight. They want you to engage in a disagreement and they want you to get riled up and you're just like, I'm cool. That's how you feel about it. That's cool. And you walk away. Okay. Your overall energy for this mid month period is the tower card. Oh, secondary major arcana card for Aries, sometimes also associated with um, Scorpio. So either of those signs might be important to you, but don't have to be Sagittarius. Well, 
everything we're talking about is kind of resting on this, this tower moment or this tower energy, which is major upheaval of bringing down of old, old paradigms, old ways of being, you know, old established, you know, foundations that basically are no longer serving you or serving the situation. They're no longer helpful to you. It's just a total demolition of that whole uh, entire structure. Okay. <sighs> And I'm, you know, they're, oh, right, that's cute. Because I was like, you know, often people see the tower and they're like, oh, no, it's the worst card ever. And it's just like, mm, that's, that's, that's all relative to who, who is, you know, to your own way of thinking. Yeah, it's relative to your experience. The reason I said, oh, that's cute is because this person is being tossed out of the tower as it's burning and being hit by lightning. And we would like to think through the artwork of this card, oh no, this person is in peril, they're in danger, they're going to die, they're going to hit the pavement, and you know, that's the end. Look closely at the hairband there. Little kitty cat ears. So they drew me to that. Again, I don't use this deck often, so I, that was literally the first time I've noticed this. If this is you, whoever is being tossed out of the tower, whoever is going to be experiencing the brunt of this tower moment, this great upheaval, this tearing down of old structures, right? Whoever's going to be upset about it the most, they're going to be okay. Nobody's going to die here from whatever changes are going on, whatever, you know, sudden switcheroos are happening. Nobody's going to, you know, be devastated by this, you know, because cats always land on their feet and or cats have nine lives, okay? Okay. So there's a resiliency for whoever is going to be most affected by this. They will survive. Could be you, could be someone else, could be the strength card person. I don't know. But don't be daunted is basically what I'm feeling with this tower card. It's not going to be pleasant. Like, you know, the tower card is rarely pleasant or rarely, you know, not at least annoying or, you know, a little bit of a, you know, oh man, like a, like a, ah, oh, this is like unfortunate. Like that's, that's how it is. So, I, so it's never like so devastating. Sometimes it's just an inconvenience or an annoyance. So whatever level it's going to come for you, Sag, is basically what I'm getting there. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading for mid-April. We did it. <laughs> if you like what you saw, there is a like button down below. Go ahead and hit that for me. You can also leave comments on the video, letting me know how it resonated with you. I love to read those things. Um, it, you know, gives me affirmation as a reader. Uh, so if you want to share, please share. Uh, and speaking of sharing, <laughs> you can hit the share button so that you can share this video across your different social media platforms that encourages other people to come to YouTube and watch the video or, you know, watch externally through a website or something like that. Um, also, you can subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, we've seen, we, I'm the only person here, but you guys are part of the community too. So uh, we have experienced some incredible growth over the last month and a half. Uh, so I appreciate that. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, if you're one of them, if this is your first time returning, keep on coming back. We'll, 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 we'll get to know each other, you know. <laughs> but if this is your first time and you think you want to stick around and you think you want to support my channel, please interact however you wish with the channel. Liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. All of those things help the channel grow. It lets YouTube know you like what you, what you see around here. It lets me know that you like what you see around here. And of course, it increases my exposure to other YouTube users who may have never seen me before. So if you want to help a girl out, I appreciate it. All right? Sag, I will be back fairly soon, uh, probably within a week and a half or two weeks, to do your May readings. Uh, I might do a random reading uh, between now and then. We'll see. I've, I've kind of pushed it off. So I might not do it um, before the May readings, but... You know, there will be stuff coming down the pipe for you guys, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I thank you so, so much for watching up until this point. Take care. Bye.